This film visually presents a range of speakers who have been interviewed about the project. The film shows the 12 jurors in the jury room listening to the evidence being presented to them by different witnesses. The jurors are seen working together, recording notes on post-it notes and butcher's paper, and in discussion during periods of deliberation. People with disability who are participants of the NDIS appear on screen, providing their personal stories to the jury, either in person or via video link-up. Advocate witnesses, also people with disability, present verbal reports to the jurors, who are seen asking questions and listening to the evidence. A dark grey textured background. Text appears. Over four days in February 2015, 12 randomly selected members of the public came together in one room. They were members of a citizen's jury. Their task was to deliberate on the Federal Government's National Disability Insurance Scheme, the NDIS. The jurors present were Aidan Greenrod, Craig Hughes, Anne O'Grady, Liliana DeSora, Gemma West, Michael Steeth, Lorraine Hughes, Darcy Trelaw, Kristen Laurent, Chris Ecker, Tony Guillot and Shea Mitchell. Craig Wallace, the President of People with Disability Australia. It's not actually every citizen who gets to render a verdict on one of the most important nation-building reforms that the country has started since Medicare. Alex Madsen, Director, Governance Section of the National Disability Insurance Agency. The NDIS is a new way of providing disability supports for all Australians across the country. We're in our trial phase at the moment, but from 1 July 2016, we'll start to roll out across the country. Craig. But people with Disability Australia approached the National Disability Insurance Agency with the idea of a completely innovative way to get feedback on the NDIS. And we said, what we could do is have a citizen's jury, which is a process that involves ordinary taxpayers on the ground who are funding the NDIS, hearing from participants who were also randomly selected and asking them what they're actually experiencing from the scheme. We will hear directly from uh, participants, find out what is actually there to celebrate, uh, what is not stepping up, and what needs to be done differently. David Bowen, CEO of NDIA. We recognise that during this trial period, it's important to get as wide and diverse feedback as we possibly can. We recognise there's an enormous amount of interest from people with disability on the performance of the scheme and to have an opportunity to have input into its development. The proposal from People with Disabilities Australia to do this by way of a citizen's jury was one that we thought provided another and different perspective, so we welcome that. What is a citizen's jury? Max Hardy, the citizen's jury facilitator. A citizen's jury is a way of engaging citizens in decision making and uh, it, it came about uh, back in the 1970s and as a way to engage people differently. It's similar to a criminal jury in that we have witnesses giving evidence and their job is to actually make a determination to deliberate, to give advice, in this case, uh, to give a scorecard or a report on, um, on the NDIS. How was the evidence presented? We wanted to actually take the initiative and use random selection to get witnesses to find them randomly and to invite them to come and share their story. So that's actually a unique feature of the citizens' juries. Craig. 16 randomly selected people with disability who are current participants of the NDIS across six NDIS trial sites were asked to interact as participant witnesses and to share their personal NDIS story directly with the jury. Six advocate witnesses were also recruited and charged with the role of gathering feedback on the NDIS. Using key questions and a random sample of NDIS participants, the advocate witnesses interviewed 45 individuals and held three focus groups with people with intellectual disability across the six NDIS trial sites. They collated this feedback, providing it as evidence to the jury. PWDA's social media forum was another avenue people could provide feedback to the jury. Posting the same questions used by the advocate witnesses via our Facebook page and Twitter feed, 
we interacted with a further 78 people across Australia about their experiences and views of the scheme. This feedback was collated and presented as evidence to the jury. How did the process work? Daniela Nels, the co-facilitator. So this particular charge has eight themes for the participants to address. Themes. Theme one, putting people at the centre. Theme two, increasing choice and control. Theme three, improving portability. Theme four, reducing fragmentation. Theme five, uniform understanding of the scheme. Theme six, addressing unmet needs. Theme seven, community support, linkages and referrals. Theme eight, meeting the goals of greater economic and social inclusion for people with disability. Danielle. It's a matter of saying, okay, which evidence pertains to which themes and let's get that captured. So we've created wall space for each of the themes and we've literally recorded the evidence that we think best sits in that theme. We are also looking at bigger picture type questions and wanting to track those. So overall, what impact do people think the NDIS is having? Overall, what are the issues that we want to know about? As well as sort of looking at you know, how are people feeling about things, um, reflections on the day before. So we give the, the jury an, an opportunity to hear some evidence and then some processing time and some capturing of that evidence. So that by the time they get to the end of the hearing, they haven't lost some of that key evidence that they heard earlier on. As the days move forward, we start to build an inventory of all the really important evidence. And people are already starting to form some recommendations in their heads and, you know, bashing things around. But on the final day of deliberation, it's like a flurry of activity of bringing together all those thoughts and really expressing them and checking with each other and starting to find where there's points of contention amongst the jury as well. Max. So we try to get a good balance of content, evidence provided and time to deliberate. And we try and match that time as best we can. So during deliberation, um, there's, there's different ways that, that it can happen. Uh, we uh, sometimes help to facilitate the conversation, but uh, as they settle into their deliberations, we kind of leave them to it. Um, so there's various methods for doing it. Uh, on this occasion, people are writing down the key messages and they're putting it up against various questions that they're meant to answer. Um, and in the end, they will need to make a collective judgment about how are we going in all these different areas? So to what extent do people have more control, more choice in their life? The impact on the jurors. One of the fabulous things about juries, I believe, is the difference that it makes to people who are actually randomly selected. And uh, in this case, like all other juries, people get very excited. And I think it's a wonderful thing to be approached to say, hey, we've got this really complex issue uh, or this thing we need to kind of work on or figure out. Can you come in and help us? So I guess the citizens' jury is also a way of strengthening that whole relationship between government and citizens. Liliana, juror. This jury is really important because the NDIS has the capacity to change so many people's lives for the better. And there's kind of this huge responsibility to make the right changes because every change that gets made is gonna impact on thousands of people and potentially millions of people, all Australians, that eventually might be affected by this. Shea, juror. When I first got the notification about the jury, my, my first thought was, I, I've had such a gift given to me here, yeah, such an opportunity to be involved in a, a huge thing. Kristen, juror. I was really, really excited to have the opportunity to come and be part of this. So I've been really looking forward to it. And just the opportunity to hear directly from people that are affected by such a huge reform that has the capacity to really improve the lives of people with their disabilities. So I'm really excited to be a part of it. The participants of the NDIS. Simone, witness. It's really important to get the NDIS right and on the right track. The NDA will shape and, and change people's lives forever. And it's not people with disability, not just people with disabilities, it's their families, it's their carers that are in organisations and organisations too. It's everyone. 
Brianna and Alyssa, witnesses. We felt really important to be part of, of giving back some information about the NDIS, didn't yeah. we, Brianna? And about your story and your life story and how big a change it's going to make for Brie. A fresh perspective. Darcy, Jura. I didn't actually understand until I began this today. They're actually not looking to, to validate the ideas they already have. They're looking for us. The random fresh perspective that we might stumble across. Craig. I work in this space every day, uh, but those 12 jurors are completely new. And some of that is going to be quite eye-opening for them. Some of that it will be shocking. And some of that will actually lift them up to a higher plane. We're wanting that fresh pair of eyes to say, well, we're looking at this almost as if it's for the first time. And how do we objectively assess it? And where do we think that this could actually be improved? both for the National Disability Insurance Agency, for PWD in, in our advocacy, and for the Australian community as we shape the scheme. What will happen to the findings? Chris, Jura. Being a part of all this, my one worry coming in, and my one worry still slightly, is that we were brought in to rubber stamp something. That we were just to say, you're doing a good job, and that's all we were here for. Max. People have this fear that they get involved in a process and it will go to waste. One of the wonderful things I believe about the citizen jury when it's run well is the prior commitment from uh, the decision makers or the agency in this case to, to use the report to respond to it publicly. Craig. So the commitment is that there is going to be uh, a scorecard which is being presented over the next couple of days as the jury unfolds. Uh, we're going to be presenting that to the agency. Uh, People with Disability Australia, once that is finalised, is going to be making that available to, uh, to First Ministers who signed off from the scheme to ensure that the results of it are actually acted on. Alex. The Citizens Jury is another great way for the NDIA to respond to participants. Hearing from people with disability is important for the scheme to grow. People with disability built the NDIS and they will continue to build the NDIS to ensure it's there for future generations to come. Some recommendations from the jurors. Gemma, juror. We've come to the end of day four and we haven't quite got to the end of the process. So we have come up with a whole lot of recommendations and good points and areas for improvement. So we started off with a summary of um, the fact that the jury unanimously thought that it was a great idea. Um, its ethos was sound and um, it will deliver great things for the uh, disability sector in Australia. It was surprising for 12 people how we unanimously agreed on pretty much every point of what was a recommendation. Shaya. I think the role of the planner is paramount to the success of the scheme for the individual. Liliana. The main focus needs to be consistency, um, learning from what works and applying it in the areas that might be weaker. Kristen. Um, if there were one thing that I think needs attention other than the planner training, I think it's capacity building for participants to equip them to be able to get the absolute best from their goal setting their plan development and the execution of their plans and choice of providers. Aiden. More advertising for the NDIS itself outside of it. You need to get that message out to people why the NDIS is needed and why it's a good thing because most people wouldn't have an idea. They just have no idea what it's like. And that's something that my eyes were opened up to throughout this whole process. Chris. Because the scheme is self-driven from what I've seen in the last week, those people with the greatest support have had the greatest outcomes. And my worry is that those people without that support won't have the same outcomes, and that's just my fear for the system. Mike. I'd like to leave you with a little philosophical point. Society is judged by how it treats the lowest members of that society and the least one with the least amount of power. If you can empower those people, then your society will flourish. If you don't, you perish. The image of Michael's face disappears. The screen fades to black. A graphic appears. Various pictogram people stick post-it notes on a wall. Text reads, The jury was unanimous in affirming the intent, ethos and rationale for the NDIS. The graphic disappears. Another graphic. Three pictogram people with disability assist each other abseiling up the side of a mountain. 
To the right of the screen, four pictogram people with disability are hoisted up on a suspended platform. The text reads, Unquestionably, the NDIS is already enabling quality of life outcomes for some people with disability that would otherwise be unattainable. The final graphic is a construction site. A crane lowers large alphabet letters, N, D, I, S. Pictogram people with various disability assist with the letters arrangement and placement. The text reads, the jury's report will help strengthen the NDIS towards full implementation. A slow fade to black screen. The credits roll. PWDA would like to thank the participant and expert witnesses. Edwina Barker, supported by husband Arthur Barker. Cindy Zabierski, on behalf of son Max. Taryn Waters, on behalf of son Rufus. Michaela Banks, on behalf of son Harry. Anne Malloy, on behalf of son Dylan. Sarah Downey, supported by mum Anne-Marie Downey. Tom Dow, supported by Ryland Finch. Linda Blake, Gary Hill. Jacinta Kelly, supported by dad Edward Kelly. Anne Faulkner. Bob Buckley representing son Kieran. Brianna Grant Griffin, supported by mum Alyssa Griffin. Focus Group representative Simone Stevens, supported by Ellie Blackney. Advocate witnesses Angela Chanchosi, Jane Wardlaw, Kerry Telford, Christy Chachewski, Crockett Cook, and Justin Ray. The jurors Liliana DeSora, Chris Ecker, Aidan Greenrod, Tony Kyo, Craig Hughes, Lorraine Hughes, Kristen Laurent, Shaya Mitchell, Anne O'Grady, Michael Steef, Darcy Trelaw, and Gemma West. New Democracy logo. PWDA would like to acknowledge the support from NDIA in making the Citizens' Jury possible. Logos follow. The NDIA, National Disability Insurance Agency logo. PWD logo, People with Disability. Max Hardy Consulting logo. SASCOM logo. And Think Films logo. The audio description was prepared by Eliza Lovell.